an enemy has taken over a beachfront, blocking off all roads leading to the area. The only way to take control of the territory is to come in by sea. Here at the Naval Education Training Center in San Antonio, Zambales, the Armed Forces of the Philippines and U.S. Armed Forces put to the test their ability to address this very scenario. Aircrafts drop artillery on the land below, setting the scene for American and Filipino Marine Corps to carry out combat on shore. From the bowels of amphibious assault ship USS Wasp come assault vehicles or AAVs carrying U.S. troops who make their way to land. Filipino troops follow on AAVs lent by the U.S. The soldiers on both sides alike love to talk about this word, interoperability. It simply means the synergy of both military forces during battle. Interoperability between the United States and the Philippines is extremely important. It's the ability to work together. It's the ability to learn from each other's best practices in order to respond to any crisis that may occur in the Indo-Pacific region. The exercise is also crucial for the Filipino Marine Corps whose experience operating the AAVs will come in handy when they get their first units from Korea later in 2019. The tactics, techniques, and procedures that we can get from our counterpart is very beneficial kapag naka-acquire na tayo ng AAVs natin. An event of many firsts, this year's Balikatan saw the debut of the world's most advanced stealth aircraft in the Philippines, the F-35B Lightning II Joint Strike Force. All this display of military might takes place in a naval base in San Antonio, Zambales, which faces the West Philippine Sea, where China's incursions are more the rule rather than the exception. Despite this, both sides reiterate the exercises are not aimed at any particular target. The exercises come at a time when the 60-year-old Mutual Defense Treaty is under review by the Philippine Defense Department. The amphibious exercises here in Zambales are the last for Balikatan 2019. But while they may be practice for the two armed forces, they are nonetheless a show of force against rising threats in the region. Sophie Tomer Cruz Rappler, Zambales.